Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? This is your boy, Vintage Fire Alarm Guy. Happy Fire Alarm Friday. Today, we're doing system test number 28 with the FCI panel. So, anyway, let's get started. For the, for the pull station over by the panel, we have my Thor B5. Yep, replaced the BG6 with this pull station. So, I mean, it's a nice pulse. I mean, I got this pull station brand new in box. It was new to reuse. So, yep. It's also going to be brand by uh, FCI and... Uh, Kidda, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, that is the first initiating device on the system. Over here, I have the Simplex 4098 uh, 9404 heat detector. This hasn't swapped out from last test. And over here, I still have the Pyrotronics MS51 from last test, so it also has not swapped out. So, yep. So, anyway, that is the initiating devices, and now the alarms. I have up here, I have my Wheelock Exeer. Uh, horn strobe. It's pretty cool. I like this alarm. Pretty, it's a very nice alarm. I'll have to tell you what. It's very nice. So, yep. So, anyway, that is the first notification appliance on the system. And over here, I have my Wheelock 7002. Yep, the thing is back. Just to tell you what, I haven't really used these devices too much, so I figured why not use them. So, yep. So, over here we have, this is the oldest fire alarm in my collection, and that's the newest one in my collection. That was made in 2018, this was made in 1978, so this is 42 years old. That device over there is only 2 years old, so that's new. And this device is 4 years older than that device. Yep. So, yeah, so that is pretty much, that is pretty much all our devices, and now the fun part, the part we've been waiting for. The activation. We'll go ahead and we'll activate the system with Thorn B5. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this. Here we go. Alright. So far, so good. All right. All right. Come on, get in there. See what with these poles are really hard to. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna have to reset this off camera. So I'll be right back. All right. Pulse inch been reset. I tell you what, with these poles, they're such a pain to reset with one hand. So that's why I gotta use two hands. In order to set pulse ears like these, so yep. all right. So let's go ahead and we'll activate this again using the power tracks MS51. Here we go. <laughs> Damn. I'll tell you what, the straw this thing flashes quite fast, to be honest. That one flashes like any normal fire alarm. That device over there just, it flashes very fast. It's very, yeah, I'll tell you what. That's why that thing will probably have so many epilepsy kind of warnings for that one, trust me. Yeah. But other than that, you know, it's still a nice alarm and all. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's that. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll tell you what, with these poles, they're quite hard to reset on one hand. So. All right, now we'll go ahead and reactivate the system one more time by activating the simplex heat detector. So, BIC lighter, for good luck, here we go. All That was pretty loud. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, they're fire alarms. They're supposed to be loud, so. Yep. Anyway, so that pretty much wraps up for System Test 28. Yep. The oldest fire alarm in my collection and the newest fire alarm in my collection. So, yep. 
So next test, um, I'll be swapping these devices out. Same with those ones, except for the heat detector. The heat detector is going to have to stay for a while. So I think this is going to be a permanent detector. It's going to be on the system. One, because I'm in the garage and I don't want to have to, because you're working on someone with a lot of exhaust. For example, like this go-kart here, we're kind of building. We don't want the exhaust from this go-kart to actually accidentally activate the smoke detector. So that's why I think a heat detector for the garage, I think it's kind of good for in here. Because I think that would be a good location for a heat detector. So yeah. But yeah, so that pretty much wraps up for this video. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel.